Oh. I forgot to set it up. So what happens when excuse me, my haste making waste. Okay. Good morning. Um well, once again, like I always do, browse and lodestone forums. And bought another bought another good question here. Uh, why you don't why don't you tank? Uh, written by Canetes. There was an actual I looked up the actual straw poll, but there was only like two options, like either it's boring or, or it's stressful. Um to be but to be fair though, this is gonna be somewhat rehearsed. I actually did try to type down my answer, but again I just found myself more talking it out than typing it out. And I just had a lot of trouble trying to get it get the words down just right, so I'm gonna have to go do it like this. Uh, so to get now that that's out of the way, uh, my answer to this it's probably gonna be that. But I do tank. Tanking is my favorite role. Um, the problem is, right, well, for one, my tanks are at level 68 right now. And this is probably, this is probably something I developed probably as far back as since I was playing RuneScape back in the mid-2000s. To me, I'm, the end game is the end of the game to me. I'm very, very averse to getting max level. I I mean, I was especially doing this in WoW. It's especially bad in there because the way they did it over there, the whole the whole setup, for lack of a better word, was centered around raiding. But if you're the kind of person like myself that is not has no real interest in it, I'm only interested in uh, dungeons and low tier content. Uh, I'm spending a lot of my time spinning my wheels. You know, you you get max level, and all you're gonna do is Set her on and wait for your next dungeon queue to pop. Or, or they had what was called LFR, looking for raid, which is uh, there was the equivalent of trials here, where it's just eight man stuff. Uh, whereas, um, yeah, forgot where I was. But, a, but, um, the problem. So in this game here, same thing. I I don't want to I don't want to hit level seventy in anything except maybe my crafting classes. Because uh, you get you get level seventy in those crafting classes, they're gonna greatly benefit all the others, all the other classes. Because now I can just craft all their gear, craft all their gear a hell of a lot easier. So so crafting classes aside. Uh, so that that's that's one reason why right there. I'm just I'm very skittish on getting max level in in any of the uh, actual combat classes. That that's something that's something the way I excuse me that's the way I've been since way back. So there's that. Uh, number two, the way the way I'm seeing the end game now. Uh, looking at some of the dungeons on Wiki. Looking at like the item level requirements and the fact that there for the the higher dungeons, there is no I level max or there is no I level sync at all. It's starting to go on the way of Heaven's Word. In other words, it's also starting to go the way of WoW. What they did in WoW was just uh, basically made one set of dungeons and that's it. Everything else is higher rate. Everything else is a uh, higher rate tiers, higher and higher and higher. What that meant was the the gear they got was also higher, higher, and higher item level. What ended up happening is a lot of those high level raid tiers that were in the in the super mythic raid gear would also come down to the dungeons that they all gear by almost 100 eye levels. I saw this in Heaven Tour too. I didn't even do any of those experts at all. I, I avoided those suckers like the plague. Uh, these days, the level 50 slash, slash 60 dungeons, I stay away from them. They're all basically a bunch of Camp West ones. Um, I'm, in this expansion here, I'm seeing the same thing. Uh, the, I think uh, a few of them have a eye level minimum requirement of 
like 280 or 290, and then there's some that's 300. But I think the highest, the highest high level gear that you can get in this game so far is a 345. Now, wait, basically the differential on that's going to be it's going to be between 40 to 45. With, and that's something I don't want to go through when I'm having a tank these. That's going to become extremely stressful. That's just going to harken back to the days of WoW. You know, I try to take a try to take a dungeon and I got I got players who you know, I got raiders who grossly out care of the content and they just treat me like a damn figurehead. Or they got players pulling for me. That's a that's a big time big time no-no around me. I've had a drop group many times because of it. Like I I have zero tolerance for that crap. I'm gonna. Uh, it looks like I'm gonna see the same thing happen in here, uh, unless unless Squeenix is gonna add another dungeon tier, you know, higher eye level requirements in like a in like a maybe like an eye level sink, you know, because you know I'm pretty sure they're gonna be adding a uh, higher and higher raid tiers as well, you know, they're all gonna be running around in more powerful equipment. Then I'm staying away from the end game. Then, okay. sorry if I'm not making any sense or if it sounds like I'm babbling. I'm, I'm kind of winging it. Like I said, I kind of had the same problem when I'm trying to write it down. I'm having to write sentences and then delete them. No, that wouldn't work, and having to do that. So, at least doing this, it's a lot faster. But that's that's what. But like I also said earlier, tanking is my favorite role, and I really enjoy it. So. There is no. It's it's less the it's less the role itself, and it's more more the fact that uh, I'm only going to be running dungeons, maybe some uh, maybe trials and stuff like that. But the problem I'm seeing here is uh, was the same problem I saw in Heaven's Work. I think I think their uh, minimum eye level requirement was like 200 or something like that, but a lot of them didn't even have a eye level sink, which means you had you could have players as high as. 80 item levels above the dungeon itself, and you know, I, ain't, I ain't going near those. I mean, no, they, they just treat me like the damn taxi driver. Okay, you got us here to the dungeon. Your services are no longer needed. Thanks. Pew, and off they go. No thanks. So that's where the stressful part comes in. And until until Squeenix starts clamping down on the high level sink, I'm not doing them. The most I'm going to do is maybe get the tanks to level 70. And then just no more but again that was also what i said earlier too i'm very averse to getting max level on any of those classes i'm i am i'm more into leveling than i am being leveled up or being at max level so i'm more interested in the path or i'm more interested in the journey than i am in the destination there we go but from what a excuse me from what I've seen of all the uh, posts, they're going to be roughly the same. I'm, I'll go ahead and go down and comment on some of them, but I'm not going to be on them very long. I've already read them, and they don't, opinions don't change much. <coughs> this too. Um, like I said... Like I said before, as the expansion goes on and on, when you know, you know, also something else I forgot to mention: experience. You know, the expansion's been out of been out a while. Everybody's run the dungeons a whole number of times, and all the ins and outs and quirks. It's gonna eventually. It's it's gonna be even more of this response right here. I'm not pulling enough. They're all experts. They're all, you know, they're all experts. They're all. They all out care the stuff. They can all, because of that, they can all run them naked, blindfolded, with one hand tied behind their fucking backs. So, at this point, that's going to be the bigger reason right there. You're not pulling enough. Oh, God, I went, man, man, I tanked a level 10 gear, and I went all the way from boss to boss, you know, and didn't even die at all, you know, that kind of thing. Then you got this here, but I don't know if uh, Lazarus knows about the, uh, Inspect macro. Um, I think it's like slash C. I think that's what it is. But very valuable to me when running dungeons to give me an idea of uh, 
what I'm run what I'm running with, what kind of gear they got. <laughs> Seen this one too. There's actually an old saying back in WoW, although it's much less true these days. Um, if the tank dies, it's the healer's fault. If the healer dies, it's the tank's fault. If the DPS dies, it's their fault. But they, like I said, that's less true these days. But that—that's a classic throwback right there. Uh, must not have been playing WoW. Hey, when I let, when I quit playing WoW, they had a all the tanks had a threat bonus of like a thousand percent or something like that. It ain't that easy in this game. Of course, this might have been um, this might have been one of the reasons. But I think one of the reasons why uh, Blizzard just gave all the tanks a super high threat bonus is because uh, it's easier to do that than to add another add another dungeon tier, you know, higher gear requirements. You know that kind. You know that kind of thing. They found it easier just to give the tank, the undergear tanks, a higher threat bonus. So, turn here. Okay. I leveled more myself in dungeons. Stressed out couple attempts I was never stressed out about it at all like I said I actually enjoy tanking when allowed to the because people would notice faster than <laughs> it's pretty much the truth blame them before they blame you kill or be killed There was something else, uh, based on my very, very limited time raiding in WoW, um, the way I, the way I figured it, and actually, uh, one of the other, some of the other forum tanks also mentioned it as well, as tanks, you actually have the easy job. All you gotta do is just hold aggro on the boss, you know, get ready for those big hitter tank busters, nothing real complicated, but, um, you also have the most important role. If you die... It's a guaranteed wipe. Uh, DPSers actually are the flip sides. They're the ones that actually have the hard jobs. They, their rotation has to be tight. It's got to be perfect because they're the ones that are going to be doing the actual killing of the boss. So they got to really be on their game. But they also have the least important role. If they die, all that's going to happen is uh, the fight's going to take longer and they'll probably reach an enrage timer and it's game over. But that's about it. It's not a it's not an instant wipe or anything. Healers are somewhere in the middle. Again, but again, coming from uh, coming from playing wo coming from playing WoW and RuneScape for so many years, I'll I'll take boring over stressful any day. I mean, yeah, there's times where uh, tanking is like all too easy. But that's only because you probably have a healer that knows what he's doing. You have DPS that know what they're doing. And hey, at least I'm able to tank. I mean, like I said, sounded, sorry to sound like a broken record, but back when I back when I played WoW, you're you're basically just a you're just you're just a necessary evil is all you are. You know, you, you're the only one with the insta queues. I call it the taxi driver because I get you from here to the dungeon, and after that, my role is over. Everybody else runs off and does everything. You know, you're no longer needed because everybody, everybody out here is the content. Never tainted. Yeah, Kenneth has really needed uh, some more options in that poll, other than too boring and too stressful. Like an option C, other. 
Please explain. Um, I don't, I don't think I've ever done 24 man content in here. I don't think I did. I might have done a, I think I might have done a, one of the coils of Bahamut or whatever, but I don't remember if it was a 24 man or not. Yup. It's one of the re. It's, I think it's also a. It's also what happens when uh, the raid tiers vastly outgear the uh, dungeon tiers. You get, you get super high geared uh, players in your dungeon. You only know what they're doing, and you know you just steamroll through the content. You know, and they, everyone in there thinks you're a bad tank because you're undergeared or you're new, or, or if you're a low risk, low reward kind of tank like I am. So I'm basically seen as public enemy number one, or you could end up being a, running with some uh, normal geared people, who, you know, because you're trying to cater to the needs of the group. So you're trying to pull fast, but you know you might get a group of people who don't want you doing that, and they get all mad about it, thinking you're a douchebag. But you know they don't they don't understand the context of why you're doing it. So so yeah, there's there's that. I think um, one thing I one thing I think would be kind of cool if they did, but I don't think they ever will be tough to pull off but instead of um instead of just making gear instead of gear just making you more powerful make it a uh, make it just a mere requirement to enter a to enter a dungeon or enter a raid but with no possibility at all of out gearing the content of out gearing any of it becoming more powerful than it just a simple just a simple uh um, there's there's a certain word I'm looking for, but I can't find it, but just merely required to enter. Like a like a key to a key like a key to the kingdom or something. You have to have this. But you're not gonna you're not gonna be any more powerful than what you're running, that kind of thing. Another way of looking at it, a a super, super strong uh, eye level sink. Kinda like what the leveling dungeons have. Anxiety. Gonna have to remember that word. This is pretty much me right here too. Cause uh, cause I didn't uh, I didn't get into tanking immediately. I wasn't wasn't. Ooh, tanking looks great, man. I'm jumping in. It wasn't anything like that at all. I started off as a. I think I started off as a DPSer. Um, yeah, I started off as DPSing, but, uh, just getting sick and tired of all the tanks I was running with. Very few of them were, very few of them were actually awesome. Most of them were, you know, they, most of them probably raid geared. They were just total maestros at the game. They just pew, took off, left everybody behind, you know, treated everybody else like chopped liver. So, that was probably one of the reasons that got me into tanking. Just... If the old saying goes, if you don't like it, roll one yourself. If I don't play healer, all I get are heal only healers. Yep. If I don't play DPS, all I get are red mages who are hard. No idea what a... I don't know what a Viraro is, but... I wonder why there's no tanks in DF. I don't. This is a. This is somewhat of a myth. I mean, it's it's there. Tanks almost always get insta queues, but it's not like you have to. It's only really true at the very very beginning of an expansion, when nobody nobody's ever done the content before, so they're afraid of being the leaders of the group because 
they have they don't know their shit from Shinola from different than anybody else so they shy away from the tank role so yeah you're not gonna see very many of them very many of them doing the role but as the expansion goes on everybody gets more knowledge about the content they're running then you start seeing more and more tanks so in theory yeah it is true but only really during the start of the expansion as everybody becomes experts you're going to be seeing more and more tanks because you're going to become more and more confident confident about run, running them so that's somewhat of a myth where is one of where is uh way less okay yeah I'm, okay yeah i'm reading it correctly i'm like this too it's i have an easier time tanking a dungeon than i do than i do healing it <laughs> and confident healers i can't well at least you're not tanking There's, oh, there's some, there's something there I want to say, but I can't get, I can't get it out. I can't find the words. How dare you not heal me up when I run as fast as I can and block your line of sight and pull all the, pull all the things, you know. How dare you not heal me when I treat you like chopped liver? Yeah, that's what I was looking for. I stress the leadership you have healers up. I keep every time I read this, I'm always thinking they're they they're the kind of tanks that just <laughs> go straight from boss to boss, don't even wait for a protect or nothing. That's the impression I get whenever I see this. Fear and stress of people from leave to practice. Yep. Yep. Not tanking is not gonna make you a better tank. Comfort zone when I started playing. Um, and actually, um, Cell, you're gonna have a much easier time tanking in this game than you are in WoW. Um, mainly because of level sync, at least through most of the content. Uh, especially the leveling content. There's the eye level thing clamps down pretty hard. See here, the most you're going to be able to outgear a dungeon is probably ten eye levels. So you can actually tank and not have the other guys try to tank for you. At least in my experience. Whereas in WoW, it was rampant. From from le from when you can do your first dungeon at level 15 all the way to the end game, you're going to have players running around in what's a co what's called hair looms. They're, they basically, uh, they scale to your current, their items that scale to your current level, and they're always, uh, and they're always, uh, they're uh, the equivalent of, uh, they're, they're the equivalent of green gear in this game that levels up with you. So you're, they already, uh, out gear the, out gear the leveling content. So you're, you're going to have to deal with it from, uh, day one. Where is it here? Very rarely. I can only think of maybe, probably maybe one issue where it was where it was blatant. Like, I pull one group, one guy takes off, pulls the next pulls the next group, and brings them back to me. I will I can only recall that happening one time. Most every other situation, everybody would. If I'm pulling one group at a time, they all wait. They all work on that group. Very seldom do they pull for me. It's also the fact that tanks are responsible for setting the pace of the group, making decisions on whether you're... 
By default, I always pull small, unless asked to otherwise. Or back when my FC was actually active, if I ran with them, they'd want me doing bigger pulls, but I know them. I trust them. You know, we you know we talk and all that. And whereas when you're in a when you're in a dungeon finder group, I don't trust people as far as I can throw them. So I I always start small. I can save a lot. I can save a big headache later on. Yeah, it's pretty much this too. But like I've said before a thousand times, I'm one of those that actually I actually do enjoy tanking. But they're they're approaching the end game, which is basically a wow end game. I think this is that same person. I think I did another video. She's uh, basically a misanthropist. She hates people. She wants nothing to do with them, but yet you got a character card that's like, ooh, fuck me hard, boys. A little contradictory there. Too busy healing. <laughs> 70, I don't take them in anything except bad. Tom's feels really weird to play. Let me highlight this. To play and I don't enjoy it. Um, actually, uh, I enjoy playing uh, Dark Knight in this expansion than in the previous one, if only because uh, the the dark side stance, for lack of a better word, it doesn't constantly drain your MP like it did in Heaven's War. It just stays the same. Plus that uh, Siphon Slice, I think I think the name is. It's uh, it's the second part of the combo. It uh, restores your MP. It restores a lot of MP. It restores a lot more than it did in the previous expansion. Personally, I like it. Hey, he's on the he's on the same realm as me too. But uh, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go ahead and cut it off. It's uh, six o'clock right now, my time. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to hop in the shower and probably have to eat some breakfast too because uh, I still got laundry to do. I still have to visit my chiropractor and all that. So pretty busy morning. And like always, one of my nap, one of my habits. I totally forgot about that. When um, when doing these, I always try to keep the character portraits, provided I can remember to, in the center of the screen and not up there to block them off. But anyway, too late, too late, too late. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and break off. And like I always say, if you manage to stick with me all the way to the end. Thanks a ton for watching. I uh, appreciate it. And until next time, take care.